How was your holidays? Good, ma'am. Okay. Good. Okay, we'll start. Fine, with... ma'am. Yeah. So this time I will be handling you uh, DBMS theory as well as uh, lab session. Hope so. You'll be already knowing uh, your uh, classes for one month will be online. Later you have to come and join for uh, uh, regular. What? How was your uh, regular classes? You have to come back. Okay. So today you even will start with the uh, theory class followed by after lunch break you have a lab session. So lab session for one batch. Uh, DBMS will be there. So this is what uh, we'll be doing for today. Uh, so I hope so you'll be knowing what is the procedure. So it will not be the same case what uh, we have done in the last time. But last time was different. Now it is different. So last time uh, you have we have written everything in the form of uh, uh, PPTs. But now this time you may not have like that. We'll be having a regular uh, experiments how you have done in the uh, first semester. So that's what uh, we will be doing in the in this semester. So hope so you you all know about DBMS. Uh, what is DBMS? So before we start, uh, let us just give you a brief description about the uh, database management system. Uh, at the end, I'll not at the end. So sometime after some time, let me give another five or ten minutes. I'll just take the attendance because we have to regularly now maintain the attendance because this one month after one month you'll be having a, a regular classes. Uh, you have to come to college and follow. So that's the reason we have to follow up with the timetable. No, sorry, class attendance. So that is one thing. Okay. So then, what we'll be learning in database management system is. So what is data? What's your data? What do you mean by data? What is data? Set so, of information. Set of information. OK. So how you want the information? Suppose, let me say, uh, I have Vinay, uh, Vinay at the first, and Rakesh at uh, next, and Anu third, Asta four, uh, Rashmi five, uh, Kavya, something. If, if I give like that, so what type of data it is? What type of data it is? So it is a names of students of third semester, right? So then how is the order? Whatever the order I have just now read out, is there any order there? No. Uh, so there is no order. Uh, there is no order there. So that's what here, even in database management system also. So we need to know about more of the data. So how how we have to use how we have to keep because you can see any any project any project whether it is very small to very big very complex anywhere you see we require data ma database management system so DBMS in short we call it as a DBMS even though you'll be knowing you would have studied in your uh, degree if you have studied fine if you have not studied also you'll be learning because it requires not only for your uh, MCA completion of course but when you move on to the software industries, you require this for any anything, any project, whether it is simple or very big. So you require a, a database management system. So that is one thing. So then how is data? Data, just now I read out some names. So how many of you are? You are 54. So how should I be identify? I cannot uh, just call your names. So even in your class also, we have something called as a Deepika and Deepika. So then how to differentiate between these two people, though we have initials, but still it, it will be very difficult for us to identify. So then in that case, uh, what what is these Deepika, all the names? Those are of what data type? Those are of character or a string data type. So then now to uniquely identify, if I say 1BY19MCA01. So what is this? What is What is this one? Whether it is a data or what? So if I call 1BY19MCA01, what is this? Can I can I say what is this? This is your USN number. Whose USN, who's USN number it is? How to identify that? It's ASTA's USN number. So then, what is there in this data? If I call 1BY19MCA01. So what is 1? It's a numeric constant. What is BY? It's a 
character again 19 it is a number then again what is mca it is again a, a character then what is one it's a number so what type of data it is it is a mixed type of data so what i can call i can can i call it as a character can i call it as a string so what type or how do i call this type of data so in dbms we have something different we call it as a where char variable character so we'll see how these all in the lab session as well as in the theory so variable means now it is not fixed so now your phone numbers what how what is the size of your phone number what's the size of your phone numbers you have 10 and int of 10 okay uh, so then int so what is int what's the int integer. integer integer number i cannot take a character though here now i just read out 1 by 19 mca 01 so how this data is different from your phone number phone number is a integers i cannot even take a floating i cannot say um, nine point something like for your phone number so this is how the we differentiate different data types and keep them in a respective formats so suppose if i say i have given a column name as usn so then what i'll do is i'll say 1 by 19 mca 01 so in that case after second row what i'll do is i'll enter phone number is that okay i have told that the column name is usn and i have entered first row as 1 by 19 mca 01 in the second row i will enter my phone number is that okay is that okay if i enter in the second column second row i have named the column as usn and first row i have entered your usn number and the second row i will enter the contact number or your phone number is that data okay for us what no ma'am uh, why it is not no because the title of the data what i've told i have should enter usn yes then in mixing of all these data is not properly accessible so that's what is called as a base what is this data data will be of different types it may be integer data it may be character data it may be string it may be float it may be date also so today's date what is the date today today is 1 9 2020 so even that is also one form of data then time what's the time now now the time is 12 o'clock so whether which 12 o'clock if we say only tw uh, 24 uh, if i don't want it to be 24 i'll make it as 12 12 so whether 12 is morning or night so even there also we, we have difference so that's what is called as a data then what is this database so base is what you keep everything in one format so just now i told you have a one column called as a usn so in the usn i can only store usn i cannot store uh, your phone numbers that's what is database so then how do we manage that so to everything we have some syntax i have we have a syntax for creation of table we have a syntax for insertion of a table as well as we have how which data i want i just want only usn number i have some format for that so that's what is called as a management system so in this semester we'll be learning what is database management system so before we move on so let, let us just have a look so what we are going to study in this subject so first of all so you would have seen what is this um, course outcome so what is this course outcome is what is a course we are handling you're learning now is you're learning a, a course as dbms so what is this course name course name is a dbms so what is this course name database management system so what is outcome so at the end of this semester so what you will be able to learn so what is the at the end you should be able to learn you should be able to learn or you should be in a position to create a database whether it is a small project or whether it is very big project you should be in a position to create the databases for anything i told you dbms is required for every project so that's the reason you should learn this why why do we require because you if you know the syntax for creation of a table if you know the syntax for insertion and if you know how the relationship between one table to another table all these if you know 
then you can create a database whether it is a very small database or whether it is very big database at the end of this uh, course you'll be able to do that so that's what the course outcome so at the end of this course the student will be able to so we have set some co's so what is this co is co1 is course outcome one so what we are able to do apply the fundamental of data model and conceptualize the depict of data system and make use of er diagram in developing er model so what is this er diagram so er diagram is entity relationship diagram so we'll be learning in our further modules what is this er diagram we have our uh, diagrams to represent that so you would have seen in your uh, earlier uh, courses so what is algorithm what is flowchart so same either algorithm or flowchart will be serving the same purpose uh, same way instead of having a text if we have a image it looks very easy for us and even it will be interesting for us to see so the same way here also that's a re that's how the difference between algorithm and a flowchart same way here also what we are doing we are using something called as a er diagrams so to represent any project so how is a project what are the uh, data we are using in the project all those will be seeing in a year diagram along with that so in uh, so we have so many uh, tools available so right now in this course you will be learning a uh, sql so what is this sql structured query language so what is this structured structure means they'll be giving some formats we have to follow that format as well as syntax and we'll be you'll be implementing some five programs along with that some queries so that's what you'll be doing in a sql then even you'll be using a transaction processing concurrency control techniques and recovery so now every one of you have your mobile and suppose you think that you are purchased one more new mobile so then whatever data was there in the old mobile you want it to be in the new mobile so that's what how sh should i recover you have so many contacts now your 54 friends in third semester each one of your your classmates will be having numbers and you have saved in the old mobile and you want to transfer that or recover to the new mobile so that's how we do it that's what is called as a recovery so even that we'll be doing this is very simple thing same way if we move on to our banking sectors so i should uh, when i withdraw the amount or when i deposit the amount i should have a recovery of everything so that's what recovery transactions will be doing it will be learning in this uh, course module so then what is the interface of a database design in the real world entities how so that's what in your question paper you would have seen in your first semester uh, last seven and eight units will be one will be case study and one will be innovative thing so in that case what you'll be learning you'll be you have to write there so that's what here what you do so everything so now we have some database so now where you will be having all these google whatever we are handling the classes we are recording them and we are saving somewhere it is in a youtube so then how do you identify a dbms uh, course then we have made it in a form of folders so that's how that is also one form of database so what we have done we have stored all the video sessions in the youtube so this is how the real time examples we are using in a uh, uh, dbms so coming uh, to the introduction or module 1 so what you are learning in the module 1 is characteristics of database approach so what is the characteristics uh, what is data how data is how should be all those we will be learning in a characteristics actor on the scene so suppose you think that you are um, have your you your one director or producer where you want to have a, a release one movie so then the people who work front and there will be some people who work behind so then even here also in dbms we have something called as a actor on the scene and worker behind the scene so we'll see who are those people who work front and who work behind so then we see one more thing advantages of using a dbms approach so if i use if i learn create command if i learn it Oh, insert command if i use select star from table so what are those what are those approaches which helps us in learning so that will be seeing seeing in advantages of dbms data models 
so uh, now i told you we have something called as a schema diagram instance diagram all these er diagrams we have so we'll see what are all these how why do we require all these so then in that case if i want to represent something overall then we use something called as a schema diagram so and we see data model which type of model we have then we have something called as a three schema architecture so how is this architecture so now you, if suppose if you have constructed a house then how it is whether it is only ground floor whether it is first floor whether it is third floor second floor like that we give a naming clauses for your building same way even in the architecture also we have a, a schema diagram uh, uh, schema architecture so whether it is a three schema architecture how it is we'll see that data independent so now suppose you have so how your name and your usn are these dependent yes so if i get your usn number then i'll know what is your names what is the respective name for that usn number so now these are uh, dependent there may be something like your uh, age and your usn there is no way no way related that it is not required to dependent on these so that's how we see what are the data dependency what are the data independency we'll see them along with that we have so many languages so now i am speaking some language so what type of language it is it's a english language same way here in database also we have different languages to write a coding so that's what a database language and infer so what we can conclude them by using this language then what is database environment we have so now we have so many tools mysql is one database then we have something called as a sql is one oracle people are uh, who is developing something so like this we have so many tools available in the market so based on that you can say which type of environment you want for your project based on that you can select what type of data you want but you should know the skeleton so what how should what is create command is but everywhere you can use for any command any tool create will be same insert will be same so all these that's the reason we require this dbms though you learn any tool you may use mysql you may use uh, oracle you may use rdbms you may use anything but everywhere at least you should know the basics of the database then we see about centralized and client server architecture keeping everything in one place that's what is called centralized or keeping one in a server and other components in a client so that's what is called as a client server then classification of database how the database is being classified whether it is rdbms whether it is dbms whether it is uh, er uh, diagram something like that we see here in the classification of dbms and how do we manage them so management system we, we see them then entity relationship model just now i told so we represent them in the form of diagrams so in that case what diagram whether he is a actor whether it is a, a what type of diagram it is we see them in a er diagram so then conceptual models also we see them then simple database application then entity set so what is entity so we how do we represent and which type of data we call it as entity and which type of data we call it as attributes which type of data we call it as a keys there are different keys something like primary key secondary key foreign key all these we'll see how all these are related so then what's the relationship between each data now if i say your usn and your name so usn is what your string not only string it is mixed with your number and string so in the dbms language we call it as a where char so then how this is related to your name so what's the relationship between your usn and your name that's what we see in a relationship type so whether it is one to one one to many many to one all these we see what is the relationship and what are the sets we have what are the roles we have and structural constraints whether it is weak strong all those we see in the module one so the module two what we do is we see about a relational model so what is a relational model and relational algebra so what is relational model concept we see in this second unit and what is a constraints so what type of constraints we give so now we have a constraints here even taking a class so who ha should handle the first hour which day Ma tuesday who will be handling first hour who will be ha handling second hour these are the constraints and how much time i can take i can take only one hour not more than that 
that's how the constraints are there with respect to real time taking handling the classes same way in your db uh, data also we have a constraints so what should be the size of my data whether it should if it is phone number how much size should i give for phone number 10 digits can i add string characters to that so that's what the constraints we have and we see them in the second module along with that we have some, something called as a update operations we have transactions and dealing with constraint violation suppose you are using a primary key so why do we require primary key because now you if we say your usn numbers we have unique so nowhere any student will be having two usn so he'll be having only one though in your class there are two people having the same name Deep, deepika and deepika there are two people but how to identify these two deepikas we have unique uh, usn number that's what here we see how do we use a constraint and how do we violate them so then you have we have something called as a unary relational operator or rational or a relational algebra operation we have something called as a set union which you would have studied in your mathematics uh, small things we'll be seeing here so then we see about a uh, binary relational operators then we see join how do i join one table with another table uh, how do i do a division so there are so many operators which we'll be using in the dbms and we study them in this unit along with that we take some examples like query now you have i have inserted your usn i have inserted your name i have all your marks and i have finalized the marks now how many subjects you have we have five subjects i want only dbms marks in the table format we would have entered all marks i have to fetch only my dbms so how to extract them so that's what we'll be studying in the uh, second um, module so then we'll be using some uh, uh, language so that's what is uh, sql query language where we are using a structured query language to do all this so then what is the definition what is ddl what is dma all these we'll st be studying in the third uh, unit called as a introduction to sql so we'll be writing a queries how to write a queries we start from simple to complex we learn in the third module along with that what are what are the additional basic operations which are required so what is null value what is aggregate function what is nested what is mul uh, modification all these we'll be learning in the sql along with that what is a data type what is schema what is authorized what is the language what are the techniques what are the issues we may raise so what what are the things we do it in a embedded sql queries all these we'll be learning in the module 3 and in module 4 so how to how do we design a uh, database design if i have designed uh, i should not have some data it should not have two times suppose if i say i have uh, inserted a table or created a table and i have inserted uh, two columns one is usn and one is name i have one by uh, 19 mca01 so that's what asta is i should not enter one more time her details because already one more time it is there so that's what we study in a normalization that's what we do it check in a database design so informal design guidelines for relational schema functional dependencies normal forms based on a primary keys general discussion for second and third normal forms all these we use it why do we use them is to make our table simple and not to have a redundant value suppose you think that how many are, how many are there in your class 54 students are there suppose if i start writing two to your names two two times then how much time how much space i require how many times i will call your name no so that's what we see in a form normal form two and three how to break the table how to keep it in a single form simplest form and we see one more uh, concept called as a boys code normal form and we see how we do it and we see two more concepts here stored procedure functions and triggers even in your fifth eggs, fifth program in your lab, we are using the stored procedures and triggers. So uh, we'll see how we do it. We have uh, uh, used them. How what is procedure? What is trigger? We'll be seeing them in the th fourth unit. And the last in your syllabus are the transaction management. So every one of you would have done at least one small simple transaction in the bank. Suppose you think that you are, you are, every one of you have your ATM card 
and you are inserting your atm card and you are you want some amount and once you take back the amount with you have withdrawn the amount and your card also you have taken so when you withdraw the amount your balance or in your data database it should get reflected one transaction so that's what we'll be learning in a transaction management so what are the transaction concepts we'll be seeing a simple uh, transaction model and what is automaticity what is durability what is serial all these we'll be learning in a fifth unit uh, transaction management along with that how do i isolate so how do i say so suppose in the same way in your bank transaction if it is a same bank they are saying that only five transaction is allowed if it is other banks you can do so many transaction that's what the restrictions they are giving that is what is called as a constraint we see what is a isolation so what is deadlock so what is a lock based protocol so now i can lock so that's what even in your uh, now google meet i can give 5 minutes time and i can lock this so that no one can enter to this meet so even those there are so many options here even in the google meet that's what here the same way here in a uh, transaction management you can lock your protocol or a based thing so then handling and recovery so suppose if your uh, one system uh, operating system is not working so then what whether all my bank details will get corrupted no so in that case what we have we have an option called as a recovery recover all the data or the transactions which we have done earlier so that's what we see how what are the failures how to how to store them and how to recover them and what is atomicity all these we'll be seeing in the module 5 and uh, this time how will be your module not like your last semester where you have done online everything but this time 100% you will be not having anything like online or no you will be having a video exam and in that case so you have a questions where you will be having a, each full questions will be 16 marks and out of that you will have to take uh, you will be having options and you have to take sub questions and sub questions as you have studied in your first semester same pattern of question paper will be there and out of that you have to answer five full questions this is a question paper pattern related to your textbooks so what are the textbooks you have to go through for this course uh, or prescribed one is navate and what is the title fundamentals of database system in the fifth edition which is available in the library uh, first initial one month you may not get the books but you can have this pdf format uh, which is available in the um, online only and one more uh, textbooks which textbook which you can refer is uh, uh, sudarshanam this is one uh, textbook which is also available so these are two textbooks which are the textbooks we have some more additional uh, books on the database but those are references if you are if you want you can go through them one is uh, cj date uh, and one more is raghu ramakrishna so these are the uh, references book which in case if you don't understand the concept in the given textbook then you can refer them in these two so this is about your uh, first day and this is about the introduction what you'll be learning in the database management system a part okay so coming back for today's uh, lab session so which batch is having a lab today today is tuesday batch 1 and batch 2 will be having a lab dbms lab uh, and batch 3 and batch 4 i think you'll be having some other uh, lab so so which lab you have one more is 37 so 36 is my subject code for the lab and the subject code for uh, dbms is 31 i think you have to remember them because when you are writing your final exam you should know what are the subject code so 18 mca 31 is a theory subject code and uh, 18 mca 36 is your lab code so batch 1 and batch 2 will be having your lab session today in the afternoon so in the afternoon i'll be teaching you at least for one month i'll giving you a link uh, for you to download the software same way what i have done in my laptop i have taken from the shashi sir and i have installed and uh, i have executed all the programs same way i'll give you a link where in that link you'll be given with the software Uh, SQL software, and I'll teach you what, uh, how to install, what to install. I'll just 
forward that in the afternoon class and we'll start with very simple program and for today because today is the first day we'll just have a look what are the commands uh, what is the syntax of all those commands so that will be uh, starting at 145 so maybe uh, 5 10 minutes delay may be there or we may start at 145 that's about your class today so anything you want to ask you can ask so this is about your um, complete uh, thing for your dbms and so coming back to your uh, notes and ppts the same way what i have done in the last uh, class last sem also i have sent you uh, notes as well as ppts to your group mail ad same way this time also i'll be sending you uh, ppts as well as notes so but last time we were all having a conflict or we were not knowing how your exams will be there what all those but right this semester 100 percent you'll be having your regular classes after one month along with that you will be having uh, exams for that exams you have to study so in that case you may require uh, materials study materials that's the reason i'll be mailing you all your notes as well as ppts so you can go through them and you can get prepared for your exam So anything else you want from my end? Yes, anyone should reply. No, ma'am, it's fine. No. It's fine, right? Ma'am. Uh, 1250. Yeah, 1250 is your ending class, but today because it's the first day, so I just want to stop if you don't have any queries. If you have queries, no, okay. If you don't have queries, then fine. So submission of the assignments as usual, what you have done in the last also, you have to submit the uh, assignments in time. Based on submitting the in time and the contents, the marks will be awarded. Uh, even you have given, but this time for one month, the, there is small changes. So we have to give uh, every day assessment. So whatever, because we should know whether you are concentrating and listening for all the classes or not. So it is a suggestion given by the principal. You have to uh, take the assessment every day. Whatever we have taught in the last class, that assessments we have to do in the next class. So this was an instruction given to us from the principal. So we'll be following that. Uh, so questions will be asked in the assessment every day the, in the class. So this is about your uh, database management system uh, thing. Excuse so, me. Yes, yes, yes. Ma'am, today afternoon, uh, 145, uh, Sudarshanam sir will take class, I think. Yeah, that's what I'll just ask, sir. If he takes one hour class, after that, uh, I'll be taking a lab session. OK, ma'am. No, no, not three hours. Just give you, you how to install in your laptops. Uh, and start working how to work with the uh, SQL commands. Simple okay. things will start. I'll ask, I'll just find out because he has given in the group I have seen. We'll, I'll just find out what will be, what is his plan, then we'll start. Okay, anything else other than that? That clarification mm. will be done to you. Okay, ma'am. Is anything will stop? Okay. So hoping that everyone will come back uh, for the next class. So I think timetable is shared to you people. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Ma yes timetable will be shared. Based on the timetable, I uh, will be handling the classes. Maybe because even we may have some emergencies. So we may shift our classes until unless if we don't have anything else, we'll regularly take the class. If I am applying leave or something like that, then I may change the class. OK, fine. Thank you. I'll see you in the next class and today after